In werewolves, long fangs are dominant to short fangs, and red eyes are dominant to black eyes. If two heterozygous for both traits, werewolves mate, what percent of the offspring are expected to have long fangs and black eyes? So this is called a dihybrid cross because you're looking at two traits at the same time. We're looking at fang length and we're looking at eye color. So first let's assign our alleles. It says that long fangs are dominant, so I'm going to say big F is for long fangs. And when, then I'll say that little f is for short fangs. And then let's say since red eyes are dominant, I'm going to say big E is for red eyes. And little e is for black eyes. There's several different ways to do dihybrid crosses. I think the easiest way is to actually use two Punnett squares. So you guys are familiar with doing one Punnett square at a time, but here we're going to use two. So the problem says if two heterozygous werewolves mate, what percent of the offspring are expected to have long fangs and black eyes? So it says they're heterozygous for both traits. So that means both parents have this genotype. So what we're going to want to do is do a Punnett square for the F's and then do a Punnett square for the E's. So let's do our F's. Again, both parents are heterozygous. And then do one for the E's. So this is a part that you guys have done before. So if you look at this Punnett square here, it looks at 75% of the werewolf, off werewolf offspring would have long fangs and 25% would have short fangs because only 25% are homozygous recessive. And then 75% would have red eyes and 25% would have black eyes. So the question asks, what percent of the offspring are expected to have long fangs and black eyes? So long fangs, that, that chance would be 75%. So there's a 75% chance, or 0.75, that the offspring would have long fangs. And then for black eyes, that is a 25% chance. So multiply that times 0.25. So if you multiply 0 0.75 times 0 0.25, that will give you your appropriate probability. So let's calculate that. So 0 0.75 times 0.25 gives us 0 0.1875 or 18.75%. Now remember, if you want to actually look at the total number that you expect, you would multiply 0.1875 or 18.75% times the total. So let's say the problem said they had 50 babies. So of those 50 babies, what percent would have um, long fangs and black eyes? So that'd be 18.75. And how many would have um, long fangs and black eyes? That'd be 0 0.1875 times 50. So that would be 9.375 offspring. So again, that's a dihybrid cross. It's a lot easier when you just use two Punnett squares instead of one of those gigantic Punnett squares.